Well, I'm going to I'm going to tell that, that, that knows the <laughs> language when it's alpha and omega, first and last. That means God is eternal. If Jesus is called the first and last and the alpha and omega, that means he's eternal. Kelly, what I'm telling you is that doesn't that doesn't correlate with the definition of eternal. The definition of eternal means no beginning and no end. How can you be the beginning and end if you have no beginning and no end? <laughs> that makes so, no sense. But you're not being consistent because yes, God, are. God is called the first and last, the Alpha and Omega in the Old Testament. Yes or no? Show me. He's called the Aleph and the Tav. Okay. Which translation do you prefer? I'm assuming King James. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, let me look it up here. Isaiah chapter 41. Oh God. Okay. Already, I was talking about the sun. That's a messianic prophecy. <laughs> so Isaiah messianic. 41 is about messianic prophecy? Bro, he's a prophet. He's talking. About, go to it, please. Okay, which verse Isaiah says it's messianic? Which, which no, 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 verse? No, no, no. Hold on, hold on. Which verse? Which mm -hmm. verse in Isaiah 41 says it's messianic prophecy? Which verse doesn't it say that it's messianic prophecy? You're, you you're, you're, you you, see you brought it up. You, see you that? now have, you brought hold it up. On, brought up hold Isaiah on, Apostle 41. Jack. We're good. You said it. You now have to defend it. No, you Where said it. Say that? You defend it. You bring it up. You said it's messianic. No. Yes. Now the burden yes. of proof is on you. Yes. Where do you it, get and I will Isaiah show you. 41? Read it. Where does, it say it's, where does it say it's messianic? Bring it up and I will show you. <laughs> okay. I'll do that. Give me one second here. Jesus. All right. Why are you so You just blaspheme. No, I didn't. You're back. Are you the bug man? I am. You are? Yeah. I can't hear you. Can you turn up your mic a little bit? Uh, I, need just my, I, need to, I need to get my headphones. Give me one sec. Okay. Jesse, if you want to come back in a little bit, buddy, I'll I'll let I'll right now it's gonna be mainly this conversation with this guy, okay? Thanks, Jesse. Can you hear me now? I think so. Yeah, that sounds a little better. Okay. I actually think I have seen you before. You actually have been here, haven't you? Yeah. We have, yes, we've had conversations before, or at least one. I think that was a while back, and though. I recognize your face, but I didn't realize you actually have been on here before. Okay. And, and you ran. <laughs> All right. So you, <laughs> you obviously ran. don't believe in the Trinity, and you don't believe Jesus is God. I can't remember. Our, let, what, let, what, is your, what is your background for where you go to church? Where do you go? Let, let me explain this. <laughs> so... I do not believe in Trinity because Trinity today is modalism. I believe in the Father. I believe in the Son. I believe in the Holy Spirit. I believe that the Father is the Holy Spirit. I do not believe that the Father is the Son or the Son of the Father. Okay. Where do you go to church, though? That's what I was asking you first. Where do you go to hang out? I go to church. I do not go to church. I go to church. I have my own ministry. I came out of church. I go to seminary, though. I go to Azusa what? Pacific University. Okay. Did you just, I'm just only asking just for clarity. Where did you used to go to church however long ago? You're good. I used to go to a church called Church of the Living God, Pillar and Ground of Truth. Okay. And what, what kind of denomination were they? They're their own denomination. It's been around since 1912. Trinitarian, non-Trinitarian? They are very Trinitarian. Okay. So you were that for a while then? Yeah, I taught it. And then once I got into more of the theology and the history behind where it came from, it just stopped making sense in, in the biblical narrative. How long ago was that about? About five years ago. Okay. When I started on my seminary journey. Now, in your current view, if I heard you correctly, you believe the Father is the Spirit, but the Father is not the Son. Yeah, the Father is Spirit. He's the Holy Spirit. The Ruach HaKodesh, Hashem, is the, is the, is the Holy Spirit, yes. So then that sounds similar to Benetarianism. Are you familiar with Benetarianism? I, I am familiar with it. I just don't agree with it. Okay. What's the difference then? The difference is that the, like I just said, the Son Jesus is the first. It says in Hebrews, He's the first begotten of all creation. It says in Revelation, Thus saith the Amen, the beginning of all creation. It says He's the beginning and the end. He says that about Himself. He's the beginning of a life and the end of death. 
that's that's who you're talking about there. That's, that's the father. Jesus. No, it's Jesus. That's, so the, the Jesus father, is so Jesus is the beginning, and the end. Yeah, but in order to be the beginning, you have to have a start. The father doesn't have a start. He's eternal. He has no beginning. He created. But he also said, but he also says he's the Alpha and the Omega. No, that's Jesus. The first and last. That's Jesus. I just explained that he's the. First. I know, but I'm saying what in the Old Testament that actually means that he's eternal. So how no. can Jesus be eternal and created at the same time? You can't be a first and a last and eternal. Eternal means you have no beginning, you have no end. You're you, you beyond beginning and end. Okay, so Jesus in the Old Testament, beginning and an end. So in the Old Testament, God is described as the first and last. So you're saying God is created? No, I just said that. I just say he's eternal. The Son is so created. so. If God is described as being the first and last in the Old Testament, he's eternal, but Jesus is called the first and last. How do you say he's not eternal? Jesus is not. Jesus is called the beginning and the end. The Alpha and the Omega, the beginning, you have to put that in context. Yep, the, the first and last, yep. yep. The Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. Yep. To explain and, that, he's the beginning of life, the beginning of all creation, and he's the end of death. Where, where do you get that definition from? How do, you, how do you conject that in that? Through scripture, the biblical narrative. He says he's so, the last Adam. So when you say he's the first and last beginning and the end, where does it say he's the beginning of life and don't, the end of death? No, don't, don't, hit, don't hit me with the semantics. I could just flip it. No, I'm, you, you I'm just asking you. Me. You're, you're, you're adding you. words. You're adding you words. You do it too. Thing. You do it too. You but but I'll, at least, I'll at least back it up. I'm okay. asking you when it says he's I'm the beginning you. and the end, where do you get that he's the end of death? Where does it say that? I'm not I'm telling you. <laughs> the resurrection is the end of death. It's to where does it say life. that in that verse though? I'm not saying it says that in the verse. <laughs> so you're I'm, you're I'm telling, implying I'm that's what it says. That, that's done in biblical scholarship all the time. I so you're implying that's what that means. So you don't imply things. Sorry. You don't imply things. You don't imply things to the text because the Trinitarian argument is all implication. No, I'm, you're sharing your view. I'm asking you, how are okay. you coming to those conclusions? I'm giving it to you, and you're telling me that I'm I'm exegeting incorrectly. That's what you're getting. Well, at. I'm going to th I'm going to throw that, that, that knows the <laughs> language when it's alpha and omega, first and last. That means God is eternal. If Jesus is called the first and last and the alpha and omega, that means He's eternal. Kelly, what I'm telling you is that doesn't that doesn't correlate with the definition of eternal. The definition of eternal means no beginning and no end. How can you be the beginning and end if you have no beginning and no end? <laughs> that makes so, no sense. So, but you're not being consistent because yes, God, are. God is called the first and last, the Alpha and Omega in the Old Testament. Yes or no? Show me. He's called the Aleph and the Tav. Okay. Which translation do you prefer? I'm assuming King James. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, let me look it up here. Isaiah chapter 41. Oh, God. Okay. Already, I was talking about the sun. That's a messianic prophecy. <laughs> so Isaiah messianic. forty-one is about messianic prophecy. Bro, he's a prophet. He's talking. About, go to it, please. Okay, which verse Isaiah says it's messianic? Which, which verse? Hold on, hold on. Which? There you go. There you go. There you go with the which verse? Again. Which mm -hmm. verse in Isaiah forty-one says it's messianic prophecy? Which verse doesn't it say that it's messianic prophecy? You're. you see that you're you you, see that you brought it up. You, see you that now have well, you brought it up. Hold on, up. Hold on Apostle Jack. Jack. We're good. You said it. You now have to defend it. No, you said it. That. You defend it. You bring it up. You said it's messianic. No. Yes. Now the burden yes. of proof is on you. Yes. Where do you get and I will Isaiah forty one? Read it. Where does it say it's where does it say it's messianic? Bring it up and I will show you. <laughs> okay, I'll do that. Give me one second here. Jesus. Christ. All right. Why are you saying so hey, you just blaspheme? No, I didn't. Shame on you. You just no, said Jesus Christ. No, I didn't. All right, hold on, buffoon. Okay. If you're going to be on here, you need to be respectful. You just said Jesus Christ, and that was not a very positive thing. So you're going to be on here. You're not going to be blaspheming the name of the Lord. Come back up. That's not blasphemy. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Jesus isn't the Father. How's that? You just said Jesus Christ, like that was a negative thing. No, I Own up on what you just said. No. I will not because I didn't. You're say lying that now. Answer. You're now, now lying. Now you're running. Now you're running. Okay. I'm let's not running. Let's, let's stay All on right. topic. Which <laughs> verse, blasphemer, in Isaiah 41, does it say it's messianic? Go to the verse that you say you're going to pull up. No, I'm asking you. You said it's messianic. Can you go now? You have to prove it. You said, you, "Oh, I know you're going there. Can, prove can, it." Can you can you go to the verse that you said you're going? To Which go? verse here? You said it's messianic. <sighs> Kelly, are you able to prove it? Yes, if you read the verse, you say which you're going to bring verse up. is it? The verse you say you're gonna bring up. Which verse? Is a which verse prophecy. is that? None of which the verse? hold on, hold on, hold on. Because none of the prophecies in the prophet said. All right, you're done. 
I gave you a chance. I gave you a chance. This is the problem, guys. This guy has been a continual guy in the live chat, uh, being a buffoon, being one who causes problems. Um, I've, I've allowed it to go for a long, long time. Well, that is no longer allowed. It's done. You're done. Not only did I respond and refute him on Revelation 3.14, showing how that word has the meaning of origin, source, but then this guy's got the audacity to speak double talk. He says, Jesus is called the Alpha and the Omega, the first, last, and the end. But that must mean Jesus is created. But yet in the Old Testament, the Lord is called the first and the last, right? And, but yet that doesn't mean the Lord can be created, right? Did you guys catch that? Did you guys catch that? He said openly, like when I was saying something, he said, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Jesus Christ. All right. Why are you so hey, you just, you you just blasphemed. No, I didn't. Shame on you. You just no, said Jesus Christ. No, I didn't. All right. Like he said that in a negative way. Shame on that guy. Shame on you. To even call you. I mean, you're, you're, not, you're not even anywhere close to being a Christian. But wow, the audacity. Now, what's interesting here, right? Here's what we were going to be looking at here in Isaiah. There's a whole bunch of verses, whole bunch of verses in Isaiah on first and last. Now, when you first open it up, you go through many scriptures. There's tons of them. Right? Isaiah 41, 4. Who has performed and accomplished it, calling forth the generations from the beginning? I, the Lord, am the first and with the last am he. Well, that's one. Isaiah 44, which is very clear. Thus says the Lord, the King of Israel, Redeemer, the Lord of hosts, I am the first, I'm also last. There is no God besides me. Now, this one is, I believe, talking about the coming of Jesus in Isaiah 48. If he would have said this one, I would have actually had some agreement with him. It says in verse 12, Listen to me, O Jacob, even Israel, whom I've called, I am he. I am the first. I'm also last. Surely my right hand founded the earth. My right hand spread out the heavens. When I call to them, they stand together. Assemble all of you and listen. Who among them has declared these things? The Lord loves them. He'll carry his good pleasure on Babylon. His arm will be against Chaldeans. I, even I, have spoken. Indeed, I've called him. I brought him. He will make his way successful. Come near to me and listen to this. From the first, I've not spoken. In secret from time to place, I was there. Now watch this. The one who was speaking is identified as the first and last and says, and now the Lord God has sent me in his spirit. So this is what we see in scripture. When, when, when we see first and last, Alpha and Omega, right? In the New Testament, in Revelation, that's talking about from eternity to eternity. From the very source of all the time, from beginning to the end. When Jesus is called the beginning and the end, that's not talking about the beginning of creation and the end of death. How ridiculous was that kind of view, right? So it's interesting. What, what were you guys, remember we were earlier talking about conflating, mixing, mixing up? Now this guy, he was weird, right? He was weird because, right, he claimed the Father and the Spirit were the same, but Jesus was distinct. And, um, I'll bring you know, I, I still can't believe someone who claims to be a believer in the Lord did what that guy did. I mean, some of you may have come in later, but he was actually like, you know, in, in disagreement with me and actually used Jesus Christ as a very negative type of way in his wording. One second, and I'm yeah. like, Jesus Christ. All right. Why are you so hey, you just blasphemed. No, I didn't. Shame on you. You just no, said Jesus Christ. No, I didn't. And I'm like, wow. Wow, right? Like, wow. It's just crazy. And um, the fact that this guy, 
even comes in with a different name. Um, just I've had to do the same thing with this guy before. You know, it's kind of funny. Um, yeah. So guys, notice here, you know, people come in with just an agenda. They're not willing to listen. You give them the information. You respond to them. I demonstrated earlier. I, I, re I refuted the guy's claim about the Trinity from church fathers. Demonstrated that. Refuted Revelation 3.14. Refuted his erroneous claim about Jesus. When he says he's the first and last meaning, he's the first to be created and the last of death. What a bunch of hogwash. And then... I'm going to show him different scriptures from Isaiah where God is called the first and last, right? And demonstrating how many how many accounts do you got here, man? That's funny. You guys probably got like 50 accounts. We're going to go through all this again. Oh my goodness gracious, man. Grow up, go troll another channel. Wake up, learn how to be a man. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. This guy, he's coming in with like four different names now. This guy is hilarious. Look at this guy. Like, how many names does this guy, does this guy got? Right? How many names does this guy got? It's too funny. It's unbelievable. It's crazy. Like, seriously, grow up. Go troll somewhere else. Wow. Well, as Captain America says, I can do this all day long. <laughs>